Welcome to Stewie's Garage. I'm Stewie and today we're talking about how to fix an oil leak from behind the timing cover on this Mazda Protege 5. So I could not find a video about this problem so I made my own. This Mazda had a pretty bad oil leak and it was leaking from behind the timing cover. Um, these belts down here they were all soaked and so was the alternator and there was oil everywhere. I knew it was coming from behind the timing cover. Um, behind the timing cover there's really only three places the oil could be leaking from the camshaft seals, the main seal on the crankshaft, or the valve cover. And I would say the most likely place is probably one of the camshaft seals. In my case, it was leaking from this exhaust cam seal. A good way to rule out the valve cover gasket is just to pull off the valve cover, and then you'll be able to assess the gasket once you get that off. So if you're not leaking from the valve cover gasket, then it's probably one of the shaft seals. You'll need to remove the belts, um, the timing covers, You'll remove the valve cover as well to get this first timing cover off and you'll have to unplug some electrical around this area. Um, you don't need to remove these AC lines so that's fine. You'll remove the engine mount and you have to remove the main pulley and the harmonic balancer. The timing gear behind it as well will have to come off but that one's kind of tricky. Um, to pull the harmonic balancer I just use one of those slide hammers and then to pull off the timing gear I had to use a slide hammer with lubrication. Uh, mine was pretty stuck and so a slide hammer will do the trick there. So if your timing belt is oil soaked then this can cause it to stretch and you'll want to replace it. Um, if your timing belt stretches too much then your engine will not run well because it it's not timed anymore and so you need to get your timing right if that timing belt behind there stretches because it's oil soaked. While you're back there I would recommend just replacing the shaft seals anyways and if you buy a timing kit for this car they usually come with that kit um, but just look for a kit that has them included. It's also good to replace the water pump while you're back there, the timing belt tensioner um, and both of those should come with the timing kit and this whole repair only cost me about $125 to do and that's including the valve cover gasket, the timing belt, the shaft seals and the tensioner. I hope this video gets to those who need it. Like this video if it helped you out. And as always, thanks for watching Stewie's Garage.